please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. So, what that means is, I am the rock in a medieval stone thrower. So when I break and the bike moves forward, all the way to the motorcycle comes here. Non-adjustable budget forks, damping rod, as per category. That's not unusual whatsoever. One of the things that's really important with a damping rod is what oil viscosity are we given when the forks are produced and put on the bike. So if we look at low speed damping, just gently pushing the fork, it comes back and the oil's brand new. So the oil choice for the bike on the showroom floor, especially for a lighter rider, is fantastic. If we hit a big bump, then we're gonna get the anticipated pogo just because of the velocity and then the release and it's gonna settle itself down. We try and avoid those big bumps, but if they do happen, then with the budget suspension, we get a budget response. Easy to fix, thicker, heavier fork oil, depending on your weight, 15 to 20 weight, fork oil would be fine. Yes, I know it's winter, not weight, but the rest of the world uses weight. So onto the shock, we have a step adjuster on a ramp. So we are in position two, the lowest position being number one. So that's how it's delivered. Then we've got to check where is our static sag? Do we have any? And yes, we have a lot, a huge amount in fact. So not sure how much travel we're gonna lose there, but we'll get a tape measure on it and we'll do some actual sag measurements and see where this is and what we should do to correct it. So at this point, there's our quick eval. Now let's do a little more detail. So at 150 extended, and the bike under its own weight, we have right there, 130 millimeters. So 20 millimeters of static sag, or three quarters of an inch. Now what does static mean as a number? Your minimum number, ideally, is 20 millimeters. If you have less than 20 millimeters, then generally there's very little top out space, just like a rear shock at the back. And what that means is with a big bump, because the front wheel hits it first, there can be that sharp whack into the forks and almost everybody who's watching the video has felt that at some point or time. And the bars bang as a response to that. More generous static sag, 25, maybe 30 millimeters, allows a much bigger dead zone for the suspension to absorb the hit and not hit you. Why is that more important in the front? Well, guess where our hands are? We're steering. And if that bang makes us do that, then the bike changes its line sometimes dramatically. So higher static sag numbers in the front can make cornering much safer, but also much more fun. Now remember, in all these videos we talk about this, you have to do it the same way. Street clothes, full gear, I don't care. Choose the path, but do the same thing every time. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, Dave at DaveMossTuning.com.